Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the Tableau assignment that was given in the level two of the company. Okay, so without wasting much time, let us get started while doing so. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, like you guys remember, and you know, you have requested me to share the questions of the assignment here are the questions okay so purposefully i'm not solving these questions but i would like you to try you know these questions i'll be sharing the you know the questionnaire in the description box maybe you can try it and if you still need answers from me you can comment in the comment section i'll post the tab link of the tableau book and you can download it from there okay so the first question there are from uh, some prerequisites in this that we need to do first one is connect your tableau with the attached data set which means you know the interviewer is giving you a data set to connect with so here in this case i'm assuming it is a sample superstore and save the file as a packaged workbook okay with extract connection now here you have to do two steps one convert your connection type and save it as tw BX. I think whoever is working in Tableau, they will know how to do that. So if I go to my uh, data source layer here, here I will change it to extract connection and under file, I will save as an option called as TWBX. Okay, the first step here, this is what we need to do here. Now in the second step, rename the data source name with the superstore underscore data. Now this guy is asking us to rename the data source. Now again, renaming. So just you can copy this name, go back to the same page. Here you have this, you can change it to sample superstore underscore data. Two things you have done. Okay, third step is hide two fields, namely row ID and customer ID. So mostly if you look into the sample superstore data set, these two fields will all uh, already be hidden. Okay, so just make sure they are hidden. Maybe you can, you know, uh, click on this and you should have an option to hide or unhide. Okay, so here it is not showing. See, row ID is already hidden and customer ID is also hidden, okay? So if that is there, then you don't need to perform anything. But if it is not hidden, maybe you need to just simply click on this and you need to click on hide option like this, okay? So perform this step on your data set, okay? So I'm assuming that it is not hidden in the data set that he has given or they have given. And next step is rename order date field with the date. Okay, so here is uh, he is asking us to rename the date field. Now you can simply copy this date, go to your Tableau. This is the order date. I can simply double click this and I can paste it as date. Okay, so our prerequisites are done. Now remove the city middle town from the entire data set. Okay, so remove middle middle town means I'm trying to add a filter here at a data source so that I can remove. Uh, I'm just clicking on OK and uh, under city, I'm trying to search for this. I'm just selecting this and I'm excluding this. Click on OK. So I've excluded only Middleton from our data set. Okay, so that we have done. You can try other filter methods also to restrict the data, but I've used uh, you know, data source filter here because we don't need that anywhere in the data set. So I'm removing that. Next is create a hierarchy in the order, segment category, uh, subcategory, and name it as segment details. Okay, so you need to create a hierarchy, but if you observe in our sample superstore, again, hierarchy will already be created. Okay, so under, I think it is under product, we have category, subcategory, manufacturer name and product. So maybe in the given set that they have given, it is not there. So you need to create an hierarchy. Maybe you can simply right click on this, like say segment, you know, hierarchy, create an hierarchy you can create and you can add whatever the dimensions he is specifying here. Okay, segment underscore category, subcategory and name it as a segment details. Okay, so these steps are prerequisites or you are spending time to prepare your data. Now, once this is done, you are ready to build your visualization or start creating the visualization.
ओके सो नाउ वंस यू डन विद एब स्टेप क्रिएट व्यूज as mentioned below create different views now how many views is asking 10 different views are there okay so all are very simple you know if you are you know following my channel from a long time or at least 2 to 3 months you should be able to solve this questions create a text table for state associated with its quantity and sort it alphabetically with a proper labeling very straight forward question no you know uh, no indirect questions or no uh, functions to be used directly you can drag and drop and solve this question next is also create a bar chart for sub category against average sales and sort it dynamically with the descending order this is also the only thing that you need to do is remove the grid lines and both the axes so little formatting you need to do okay again this is also very straight forward question you need to take sub category and instead of sum of sales you need to take average of sales that's it you no know, it will create a bar chart that automatically now here the user or the interviewer is testing you that whether you know different type of charts or not to create or not this is creating a text table so if i go to my worksheet you know under show me you will find all of this so this is your text table this is your bar chart all the type of charts are available here so if you are getting confused what he means with the text table you can also follow it from here okay so now again create a text table using manufacturer and product name with the sum of profit also add a grand total along with the sub totals now only thing addition is adding a grand totals along with the sub totals now how can we get that if i if you go to analysis tab here you will have uh, totals under this you will have show row total column total and also you have an option called as add all total so using this you can solve this question sheet 3 now sheet very easy questions so sheet till here you should be able to do now next thing is create a team tree map for state versus sum of quantity by using gradient color whose html codes are this and this now the interviewer has given you the color codes that you need to use okay so we can simply copy this color code assume you want to change the color code okay i'm copying this code and assume i'm creating a simple sub category wise sales and uh, i'm taking my sub sales and dropping it on color but here what i'm doing is i want to change this color to the color that he has given click on this and here under this html code you can simply paste it click okay apply you got that color code okay like likewise you can use this color codes to solve the fourth question here now create a horizontal bar chart using segment and category with sum of sales and sort the entire data in descending order using rank function now only thing that you need to use is rank function here okay rank of sum of sales descending order that's it okay so if you use that it will automatically get sorted and sheet 5 is solved okay so i hope you are clear till here you know you can simply solve first five questions without any hiccups let us see what are the remaining five questions we have here create a pie chart using segment and sum of discount show segment discount inr percent of total overview okay so here the user is asking us to create a pie chart so simply you can select the dimension and measure so if you are not sure what steps to follow you can select the dimension whatever you need suppose i need region wise sales i need i'll simply select that go to show me and i can select profit i got region wise profit likewise you can use whatever the dimensions he has specified and measures he has specified and you can convert that into percent of total here the user is or the interviewer is asking in percentage format so you need to make sure you are converting that into percentage because in general here it is only sum of profit if you observe right so i if i take and drop it on label it is showing me pro profit here but i want in percentage you can simply you know click on the label and you have an option called as quick table calculation under that you have an option percent of total so you are converting that into percent of total option that way also you can solve this so that is something an extra step that you need to do in a sixth question now create 
a word cloud for sub category with a count of quantity now this is word cloud is something new maybe you know uh, you might have heard or you might not have heard if you know about this it's fine or you can comment in the comment section that you know if you know if you don't know maybe you can follow this convert your mark type to text here okay i am taking a state or what is the thing that he has given for sub category with the count of quantity so i am taking sub category on the label here okay and then i am taking quantity here and again dropping it on label okay this, this is how it is now what we need to do is take your sum of quantity here and drop it on size this is your word cloud chart or cloud chart recall okay so this way you can prepare this and you can solve this question here okay maybe this is the only place where you can you know struggle or only this can be your unanswered question others are all doable sheet 8 is create tree map for state versus sum of profit again this is very straightforward question here you can go and select whatever the you know tree map is there automatically you can convert it and it becomes a trim map okay that way you can do she a uh, question eight or sheet eight here okay so likewise for every question you need to create a separate sheet here sheet two sheet three sheet four like that okay now sheet nine is created a blended axis using category and subcategory as dimension and count of quantity and average sales measure so here it, he is talking about blended axis and not dual axis so don't get confused so dual axis means like say if i'm taking subcategory and i'm taking sales this is my one axis but if i'm taking my profit and dropping onto it on the next this is my dual axis concept here because i have two axes here one is for sales and another is on Another one is for profit. So if I click on this and if I do a dual axis, it becomes dual. But he's asking us to create a branded axis. So simply we can take this profit measure and drop it on this. It becomes your blended axis here. Okay, you see now we have only one standard axis. Okay, that way we can solve this. Again, don't get confused in the interview whenever he's asking about a blended axis or a dual axis. Blended means you are blending them into one here. Okay. You see, you we have measure values option and we are not using the concept of a dual axis and all. So all of those points you need to remember when you are solving this question. Okay. So maybe I can to optimize, I can use this measure name and color. Okay, that way also I can do it. Now, create now see the next question is created dual axis again. Okay, so one is for your blended axis, another one is for dual axis. Now, in this case, simply maybe you can you know put right next to it, like how we have done. If I go back, this is your dual axis. Maybe now if I click on this, it becomes a dual chart for me. Right, like that, I can solve it here. Okay. So these are the 10 sheets that you will be creating. Okay. So make sure you are following the standard rules of creating the chart. Maybe you are sorting it, you know, presenting it in the entire view. You know, you are taking care of labels and all, all of that you need to do. No one will come and tell that, okay, you didn't do this or you need to do this. It is the best practices that we are implementing when we are trying to solve the assignments here. Now, after doing that, he's giving a note here note keep the below points in mind at the time of attempting the questions add the titles of each and every worksheet at your own now he's asking us to write our own title maybe whatever you the scenario that you are trying to implement in each case you can write that as the title here provide proper labeling whenever required along with the font size and color for, for graphical representation make it as neat as you can okay so all of this you need to follow okay and create 10 worksheets here okay so i think that's it from my side in this video i hope this video has helped you and i request all of you to practice this and you know try to solve it if you have any questions you can reach out to me or you know you can comment in the comment section for an answered workbook i'll try to paste it that that's it from my side see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day